Howie lads, after Guinness and Blue Wicked Gate in the last video, I said uh, the channel is called Guinness Guru, so we better give you some information. I asked a few times on the gram and on Twitter, why is there a ball, widget, whatever you want to call it, inside these cans? So I suppose we better tell you. Spiller. Right, so before we get into anything, I never actually knew, but the the Guinness and the Beamish have pretty much an identical ball widget. Then you've got Murphy's, which looks a good bit different, um, holding a lot of stout. Bit of a waste, that's, that's good, but that's a half a mouthful in there. But anyway, I'll try not to make this too boring. So Guinness themselves actually refer to this as a smooth fire. So as far as I'm aware, most beers use carbon dioxide so it can make them fizzy. Now Guinness, and I presume the other stouts, use nitrogen instead of carbon dioxide. That's why it's not really super fizzy. So hopefully you can see there's a tiny little hole there in the widget. So when the can is being made, the nitrogen and some beer or stout, whatever you want to call it, goes into the ball. Then when the can is opened, the pressure inside the ball, stay with me, I struggle with it as well. When the can is opened, the pressure inside the ball is higher. Nitrogen and the Guinness is forced out of the ball into the liquid, making tiny little bubbles that supposedly add to the thick creamy head that you would get with a Guinness can, supposedly. And that's really it, to be honest. Um, can't say I'm a big science guy, so I had to look most of that up online. I kind of knew the general reason why it happens, but um, again, you're talking nitrogen, carbon dioxide, stuff like that, I had to go online. Again, there's not a whole lot to it. Like, I know it probably took them years to perfect the widget technology and all that, but like anything in this world, a lot of it probably does come down to just marketing bollocks. But yeah, next time you open a can of Guinness, just crack it open a tiny bit, and just you just hear the eh! That's, I think, the nitrogen being released from the ball. But yeah, thanks for watching again. Thought we'd better give you a bit of uh, actual Guinness science for once. And we'll be back again soon. Good luck, sound for watching. Bye!